When it comes to starting and growing a blog, especially if you're doing it as a business, branding is important. This is also important for your email list. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this video, I'm gonna take you inside my get response and show you how to create a custom email template to match your blog. So I'm at my blog right now at becomeablogger.com and I wanna match this, the, the branding of the design that I have. Now, when I say match the branding, I don't mean that it's gonna have every single element. But you might want to have the same logo, you might want to have the same colors, the same general layout, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. So you can see up here, I have this logo, the Become a Blogger logo, and it's on a white background. And then I have this pattern background, and I actually have the image that's used for that pattern. You may have a, just a color, or you may have a pattern, Either of those would work, and we can match that in get response. Um, and then you can see I have, generally speaking, uh, uh, an image here, and then I have a section for the content. And if you scroll down, you'll see that's the general idea of uh, the general feel for my blog. So that's exactly what I want to imitate. So what I'm going to do is go into my get response email account. I'm going to go to messages and I'm going to create a newsletter. I'm just going to match it for a newsletter template. So I'll click here and then I'll give it a name. I'll call it become a blogger template. I'll give it the same subject because it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just doing this to create the template. I'll turn on Google Analytics and I'll save it. I always like to save and then click on next step. Now, here I have a bunch of pre-designed templates that I can choose from, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna start from scratch. And um, let's see, I am gonna start from pure scratch. <laughs> I'm gonna go to blank template and I'm gonna use that because I wanna show you how to really start from nothing and create something um, that matches the design. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the background. And as you remember here, the background is this um, pattern and I have the image that I can use for that. So what I'm going to do is come up here. So here we see a few things. Um, here we have the message width. So that's the main section, how wide it's going to be. I'm going to leave it at 600. I can set the message background color. I can set, uh, I can insert an, a background image for the message, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to start by setting the overall background and you'll see exactly what I mean. If I come here to this drop down menu and I just choose a color, I'll just choose gray. Uh, you'll see that the entire background is gray. Now, I'm not going to be using a, a, a color for the background. What am I going to be using? I'm going to be using an image. So what I'll do is I'll come here by background image and I'll come here. They have a bunch of stock images you can use, but I'm going to come to my images and I'm going to upload from my computer. And here is my image here, background and I'll click on open and it's gonna upload it and you see it here. Now I had previously already uploaded it, that's why you see it here, but I wanted to show you that process. So I'm gonna click on use this image and what do you see? You might see now that the, the, the background has that pattern. Um, so you can do that to change the pattern of your background or you can do this to change the color of your background. Now what I'm gonna do is start adding elements. And the first element that I want to add is my logo. I want to add that image. So I'm going to come here and go to image block. And then I'm going to click on that to choose the image. And I've already uploaded the logo. You see how I upload images. You can just come to upload from computer or upload from URL. I'm going to go here and select this become a blogger logo image. Now, a few things I notice about this. If I click out here and I come back here, um, I notice that that doesn't have a white background. We want to do something about that. So we want to make the, that background white. I'm going to click in that space and I'm going to come here to background and just choose white. All right. Now, a few other things that I notice is that it's right up against the corner. I don't like that. I want to move it. So this, anytime you see this kind of a square, these two squares, um, with one inside of the other, that's to set the spacing. 
now what I want to do is if I use this drop down you can second set the top spacing the right the bottom the left and all around let's go to the left right now and I'm gonna add some space you see as I click this you see that space is increasing and that's perfect so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this up so that it matches and you can see there's a little problem here it's cutting out the bottom and that's because I have spacing at the bottom that I probably don't want so what I'm gonna do is click here once again go to the spacing select bottom and I'm gonna reduce that spacing to I'm just gonna get rid of the spacing and just adjust it this way alright so I can adjust it that way and now there we go I have my logo it's to the left it kind of looks like how I have this here to the left that looks good to me I'm gonna do a little more work here it's there's no border around this and there's kind of this gray border at the bottom at least since this is my email and I have this in a container I want it to look good I'm gonna put a border so I'm gonna select this and now I'm gonna see this here where I can set border I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna put a border all around yeah let's put a border all around and we're gonna select a straight line we'll make it one pixel thick that color is pretty dark so I'm gonna change the color still kind of dark so I can move this around and if you know the exact color you're going for you can do it that way too all right so I've selected a color now look at that it looks a little more finished right we have this border going all the way around we have this white background we have my logo looks good to me now what do I need I need the text I need the content so I'm gonna come in here and put a text block okay I'm seeing a few issues of course I want to change the background color so I'm gonna come here make that white all right let's add a border you remember how to do that we're gonna put it all around and we're gonna put a line we're gonna make it one pixel and we're gonna choose that color once I selected a color it's gonna automatically put it here for me so I'm gonna choose that same color and let's see how that looks okay that looks good um, but the only problem I have here is now we have this double border here and if I look at my blog I have this border here and then I have this other border and there's a space in between how am I gonna get that space um, what I will do is I'll, I'll put another text block and then I'll get rid of the text it's kind of a little cheat all right I am going to redo take away the space so no spacing there you go that looks pretty good to me um, the next thing I'm gonna do is let's see what do I want to do next oh let's add this image we want to put that image make it look kind of consistent there so I'm gonna add an image block right at the top here I'm gonna choose an image and I've already uploaded that image so there we go so that image is there you can see we have some spacing let's get rid of that spacing and then okay the spacing is gone and I can drag this up Okay, that looks a little big for an email to me so what I'll do is why not drag it up a little more all right that looks decent um, let's put a border around it just to be consistent and we'll make it one pixel I'm gonna give it that oh it already has that gray color we're good to go now I have this double border because I have the lower border from the top and the upper border from the bottom so what I'll do just to show you how to do this is I'll come back to border and then I'll go to the lower border the bottom border and say I don't want one there we go so now it looks kinda similar to what I have over here that looks pretty good I like it um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna delete this text and I'm gonna put the template text that I normally put I'm gonna get rid of the bowl I'll say hey let's let's do hey first name comma insert 
message here and talk to you soon leslie samuel become a blogger.com changing the world one blog at a time and then i am going to select this i'm going to make that clickable And just to let you know what I did there, I clicked on this link icon. And now I have a, a nice template that I can use for all of my messages. I can change this image if I want. You don't even have to include an image if you don't want. You can make the image to the left. You can make the image to the right of the content. You just have a lot of flexibility and that's why I love it. Now, what do you do with this once you're done here? Once you've created that template, you're going to come here and click on save as template. And now it is saved. And that's pretty much it. I can come out of this now. Now, once I've done that, if I come here to create a newsletter and I give it a name, message name and a subject um, and I said I want my Google Analytics to be on and I go to next step when I come here to my templates what am I gonna see become a blogger template it'll take a little while to load this is the first time I'm coming to it but now I can just click on use that template and I'm good to go I can come here insert my message and then continue on to send. So what I have now is an email template that matches the design of my blog. There's consistency in branding and that's exactly what I'm going for. Thank you so much for watching. Now you can go and create your own email template to match the branding of your blog or your website. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.